First Peter, second chapter, verse nine and ten. It says, "But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of Him who have called you out of darkness into His marvelous light, which in time past were not a people." but are now the people of God, yes. which have not obtained mercy, mm -hmm. but now have obtained mercy. Yes. Through my journey in life, I did feel like a nobody, but through his grace and mercy. See, I was homeless until October the 25th of this year. Mm -hmm. That same street I used to sleep on, mm -hmm. in my truck, glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Now I have a place on. The name of that street is Prince Place. Mm -hmm. Now I'm a part of the royal priesthood, a part of the chosen generation, a part of the holy nation. And through that, I am somebody. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to the title of my son, of my son. I am somebody. Yes. I wasn't always feeling like I was somebody. But there are three major ways that define how to become somebody. The first way is you must go through someone. You must surrender all. You must withhold nothing. You must give yourself away to Jesus. If you take a closer look at the word somebody and flip it around, it says body some. In other words, the body of someone. I don't know about y'all. But if I'm the body of someone, I would want to be the body of Christ. Yes. It's like when you look in a mirror, you just finished getting dressed for church, and you see an image. The image is you, but the reflection is Jesus. Whoa. Just as in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not, but Christ liveth in yes. me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, mm -hmm. live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Because of that, I am he, he is me. I say again, I am he, he is me. And through that, I am somebody. Now that I went through someone, which is Jesus, secondly, I had to go through something. During that time I was living in my truck, God had me isolated. He wanted me to take a self-evaluation. He wanted me to go through something. See, in this particular verse, the Gentiles was walking in darkness. They had stopped attending worship supper, cer ceremonies. They had started attending drunken parties and taking part of sexual immorality. Just as in my life, I had stopped attending church. I had started getting drunk to cover up pain. I had started taking a part in sexual immorality. It's like a thick fog that had came upon my life. You can't see. You're, you feel like your life is going in circles. Yeah. Nothing is working out for you. But you must keep pressing. You must keep pushing. You must find your purpose in life. And once you do, the fog lifts. And that's like God calling us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Yeah. So now that I went through someone, which is Jesus... And then I went through something, which is the darkness, into the marvelous light. Finally, I must go somewhere. Yes. That somewhere is the That's holy good. nation. Yes. But in time past, we are not a people, but now are the people. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point, you are in tune with God. Because you had to download your iTunes app. So you could be in sync with God. Mm -hmm. Now you feel complete. You know, like when you go down the grocery in the grocery store and you go down the pancake mix aisle, it's two different kinds of pancake mix. The first one is original. The original, you just add water, milk, and eggs. And then it's the complete. The complete, you just add water, which represents the blood. See, that pancake mix is nothing without the water. Just as we are nothing without the blood. See, if it wasn't for the blood that washed our sins, that delivered us, that purified us, that miraculous power, that through that blood, I am somebody.